good morning quirky birders and welcome to episode two of your daily art challenge this week. So today we are going to be working on painting our lovely chest of drawers, our lovely little dresser here. So hopefully by now you've all um, drawn out your, your drawers and you're quite happy um, as to how they are looking on the paper. So today we're going to start adding some colour and we're going to be working with the glazing process because I want you to achieve this wonderful sort of warm distressed type look to your your drawers and as you can see I've left portions of the the paper sort of coming through and there's quite a large sort of sizable area here um, and then we've also I've also overpainted it and built up that lovely um, yellow ochre colour um, as the as the painting has actually dried and we've we've built the colour up. So today we're going to start and we're going to start by putting in our first colour. Now you can um, you can make your drawers whichever colour you so wished. You could do them. Um, blue, you could do them a nice brown colour, you could do them however you, you want them to, to look. So I'm just going to use a, a very, very um, sort of pale um, browny, sandy, yellowy colour. If you need to mix something in your palette, then please do so, but I'm working directly out of, out of my, my pan set at the moment. Taking the excess off your, your brush and then just working quite methodically and just start by putting in the paint colour to the top of your drawers. Think about where you want that paint to collect, so you'd want a nicer, sort of darker edge. And like I say, just allow that paper to, to, to come through. It's not a problem at all. Bearing in mind this is just the base colour and we're going to build the texture as, as we go. So I'm just going to put in the same colour on the drawers. Just working the paints all in the same direction. That way you're thinking about sort of the um, the grain of the wood almost really. And just take your time on this process. Don't don't rush it. So you can see how I'm just manipulating that paint. And you just want the paint to come literally just off that paper. You don't really want to finish it with a, a harsh sort of pooling line. So don't be tempted to take your brush and go back up. Just keep that paintbrush just moving off to the side. And then we'll just put a little bit of darker colour. In the centre, a little bit more across the top. So I'm just going to leave it like that at the moment. And then just carrying on with the same colour and just putting in the colour on the main structural body of the of the dresser. So I'll come down this edge here and just allow some of that paper just to to bleed through and you just get quite a nice sort of almost like a distressed effect really. So 
So just working very lightly and just we're going to be building that colour and the texture using the the glazing process that we've we've practiced a couple of times before. Like so. So what we can now do is we can work back on the the top um, while the drawers and and the structure of the the body of the drawers are just drying. So what I'm going to use this time is just a very very um, sort of pale orangey colour, and we'll there'll be an element where you'll be working wet on wet, which is absolutely fine. It's not a problem to do that. So you're going to have a mixture where the paint is actually thinner, you're going to have a mixture of, of glazing. Like so. And then also where it's a little bit wetter, you're going to have the effect of wet on wet. So it's just a, about taking some time and just working in that colour and just building the depth and the texture on your painting. You just need to work quite lightly. And I'm just going to bring some of this lovely colour just down the side of the, the drawers. And like I say, this is going to be sort of almost wet on wet now. But can you see how that's now building? And getting a really nice textured effect. You just work that paint, paying particular attention to where you want the paint to sit so it's a little bit darker. Like so. Now that just needs to dry, so I'll give that a couple of minutes and then um, I'll come back and we'll carry on with the uh, the third layer of colour so I'll be back in a little while. Okay so I'm back again now and um, my paintings had um, some time to dry so the um, process of the glazing is going to be um, effective. So to do the glazing process you're just literally going to be over painting and therefore creating that lovely um, effect so I'm going to just um, pick up a sort of sandy, darker brown. If you wanted to mix something yourself, then you can actually use a brown that's in your, your palette. And then you can add a yellow or a orange to the, um, the colour brown. And that just brings it up to a lovely sort of warmer, warmer tone. So just using, I'm just using a size six round headed brush. We're going to start by just putting in some of the um, shading around the, the actual little knobs on the drawers. And then just over paint very loosely some nice areas of shading. Like 
paying particular attention to along the top of the drawers. Now don't worry if that's too dark. Once you've applied the paint, just go back over it with a wet brush and you can just soften that down really quite nicely. So don't, don't panic. So pay particular attention to the corner. And just keep your brush strokes very loose so you get that lovely glazing effect. It really is quite uh, quite satisfying seeing how the, the, the texture and colour builds using this process. And like I say, don't think about it being a solid block of colour because you don't want it to be completely coloured in. You just want that lovely, distressed look to your painting. So again, I'm just going back over, just using the water on my brush, which will just move that paint around a little bit easier. And then we'll put a little bit of the darker colour along the edge of the top. And then like I say, you can then just manipulate it with a wet brush and just get that paint to move where you want it to. Now the glazing process also works with the same colour that you've originally applied. So I've just taken up a little bit of the, of the yellow and then I'm just going to work some of the yellow onto the paper. Paying particular attention just around those uh, circles where I've indicated where the little the little knobs are going to be. And again, we'll just put some glazing just around this area here, just to soften that off ever so slightly. Just lower the camera down, you'll be able to see. So can you see how the colour is building? It's got a bit of a shadow there. And that really will look rather nice when it's, uh, when it's dry. So just continue to work using your, your shades and tones. So don't worry. If you put something down and it's too too harsh, just use that wet brush just to move that paint around and it will move like so. So I'm just going to put just a little bit more yellow just along here. And then the final thing that we need to do is we just need to put in a little bit of the grey shading just around the, um, the little handles, draw handles here. So just using your Battleship Grey, 
If you haven't, whoops, if you haven't got a Battleship Grey, then you can use a mixture of black and um, water just to water it down into a nice pale, pale grey. And all you need to do is just dab just some shading just around those little door handles. Now that has run and that is absolutely fine because you're working wet on wet. So just using your paintbrush with water on, just dab the water onto that colour and just allow that colour to find its own direction and where it wants to sit. And then when you add in the ink detail, you have this lovely effect that really is quite quite nice as it sits, sits on your drawers. So it looks a little bit scary and it looks a little bit of a mess. You'll feel that you may be a little bit out of control with it, but don't, don't panic. So take up the grey, like I say, or your black that you've watered down and then just dot the paint just around that edge of where you've drawn in those circles. And then just using water only on your brush, just dot that water and just allow that lovely grey to find its own, its own level and just let it run. If you've got too much water on there, then just dry your brush off and a dry brush is a thirsty brush and that will literally just take that colour, colour up, not a problem. And then you need to do the same for your little keyhole, but this time that's a little bit different. Using a clean wet brush, just paint in the shape of the keyhole and just take that excess water back if you've put too much down. So you're just using the water just to paint that keyhole. And then just using the, the Battleship Grey, just then literally just dab that colour into the water. I'm being too mean with the paint. There we go, that's it. And then that will just literally just run and create that lovely shadow that you want on your, your little drawers. And that's pretty much it. So we just need to allow that to dry and then we can add in um, some further details as the painting builds. But I will see you all tomorrow and we will move on to working with our little blue and white jugs and also our geraniums in our terracotta pot. Don't forget I'm around if you've got any questions, if you're concerned about anything, if you're struggling with anything please do drop me a message and, uh, and I shall see you all very very soon indeed. Goodbye.